सो इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पैक्ड बेड what we will do is we will discuss the pressure drop equations of the packed bed we will discuss the equations during fluidization and at last we will solve a problem so here we have a nice little diagram of a packed bed you can see that two fluids one is liquid another is gas is brought into intimate contact with each other using some packed materials these are the packing materials these are the packing materials now you can realize you can realize that when two fluids are flowing through a packed material there will be a pressure drop a pressure drop will be formed within the packed bed so in order to account for this pressure drop mathematically what we use is this argan equation this is the argan equation argan equation so this argan equation is a bit lengthy but in reality it is a combination of two smaller equations which we will see later on so the argan equation looks somewhat like this so this is what the argan equation looks like this equation is large but i will explain each and every term clearly so no need to worry this v is the velocity this v is the velocity let me write over here itself this is velocity what is this mu this mu is the viscosity mu is viscosity this is viscosity now what is this epsilon this epsilon this term is this epsilon is nothing but the bed porosity bed porosity now what is this uh, what is this phi this phi is nothing but particle sphericity particle particle sphericity that is in the packing material particle sphericity in the packing materials which are used over here for a perfectly spherical particle the sphericity will be 1 sphericity will be one for perfectly spherical particle but in but in some cases this particles might not be spherical they might be of some other shapes so in that case there will be a sphericity a value of this sphericity so i have made a different video about this sphericity i will link it in the description you can check it out so this is what phi is what is this d this d is the particle diameter that is the diameter of this spherical particle if it is not spherical if it is of some some other shapes suppose if it is some other shapes then we take the equivalent diameter that is the equivalent diameter of the sphere that would have the same volume of that of the uh, other shaped particle so that is what this d is so again now in this part of the equation this rho is the uh, this rho is the density of the fluid density of fluid density of the fluid that is the liquid that is flowing so let me write over here it is the density of the liquid of the liquid this epsilon it is same it is the bed porosity d is again i have said before it is the equivalent diameter of the packing material and what is this phi this phi is the uh, particle sphericity so this is what the equation is now this equation you can see that it is summation of two terms now this is an important thing this first term So I have only written the first term of the Argan equation. This is the first term of the Argan equation. You can see from here. I have only written this part. I have only taken this part of the Argan equation and I have written it over here. So this is known as the Kozeni-Karman equation. This term, only this part, only this equation is known as the Kozeni, Kozeni, Kozeni-Karman equation. So. when is this equation applicable you can see this is also a pressure drop equation so this equation is applicable when the particle reynolds number is up to 1 that is the reynolds number is less than or equal to 1 in this case i can use this equation to find the pressure drop in the packed bed when the reynolds number even the particle reynolds number is up to 1 i can use the kozeni karman equation in order to find the pressure drop within the packed bed so another thing that i would want to say is So now in this equation what i have done is i have eliminated the first part of the argan equation that is i have eliminated this part and i have only taken this part so this equation this equation is also a pressure drop equation but this equation is known as barg plummer equation let me write it over here this is known as barg plummer black barg plummer equation so this equation is useful this equation is useful at high reynolds number that is when the reynolds number is greater than 1000 when the reynolds number is greater than 1000 then in order to calculate the pressure drop within the packed bed we can use this barg plummer equation so the argan equation is basically a generalized equation which contains both the barg plummer part and the kozeni karman part so uh, this was an important thing now 
the next thing that we will study is the next thing that we will study is what happens during fluidization so this is the packed bed diagram that i had earlier so these are the packing materials these are the packing materials so now consider this case these are the packing materials so if i increase if i keep on increasing the velocity of the fluid if i keep on increasing the velocity of the fluid a time will come when this packed materials that is the particles in this packing materials will start to get suspended within this fluid a time will come if i keep on increasing the fluid velocity a time will come when the packing materials the particles will start to get suspended with the fluid so when the entire fluid when all the packing materials will get suspended in the entire fluid at that time i call that the packed bed is fluidized fluidized bed so instead of packed bed i call it a fluidized bed so what will happen during fluidization the pressure drop equation will also change so the pressure drop equation earlier we were using the argon equation now what we will do is during fluidized bed we will use this equation that is delta p by l delta p by l this will be equal to this equal to g times 1 minus epsilon where epsilon is the epsilon is the porosity of the bed times rho p minus rho where rho p is the density of the particle and rho is the density of the fluid particle here means this uh, packing materials these particles the density of these particles is rho p so this is the equation this is used during fluidization this is used during fluidization so at the incipient of fluidization that is uh, the minimum velocity at which the fluidization just begins at that time this epsilon might change this is epsilon over, over here but the porosity of the bed might change because during fluidization what will happen is these particles these particles will get suspended with the fluid these particles will get suspended with the fluid so obviously this porosity might change so this epsilon i will write this as epsilon m so in the problem statement they will give a different value of this porosity uh, if they ask for fluidization case you will see it in the problem statement itself so these are the three important equations that i wanted to discuss first is the argon equation first is the argon equation then this kozeni karman equation then the bark plumber equation and lastly this uh, equation that is during the fluidization what happens to this uh, pressure drop so now we will solve a problem so another thing that I forgot to mention is this is the argon equation this part is the kozeni karman part I have said that this part is the kozeni karman part and this part is the bark plumber part so remember that this kozeni karman part uh, accounts for the viscous loss this accounts for the viscous loss why because there is this viscosity term over here so this term accounts for the viscous loss and this bark plumber term this term will account for the this term will account for the kinetic energy loss why this term will account for the kinetic energy loss because there is a v squared that is the velocity squared so this is a good way to remember that because there is a viscosity term over here this term will the uh, kozeni karman part will account for the viscous loss and the bark plumber part because this has the velocity squared over here it will account for the kinetic loss so with this we will proceed to solve a problem so the problem that we have is a cylindrical packed bed of height 1 meter is filled with equal sized spherical particles so good thing that they have given spherical particles we know that for spherical particles the sphericity will be 1 so phi is 1 so the particles are non porous and have a density of 1500 kg per meter cube the void fraction of the bed is 0.45 the bed is fluidized using air the density of air is given as 1 kg per meter cube if the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square they are asking to find the pressure drop across the bed at the incipient of fluidization so at the incipient of fluidization what equations will be used to find the pressure drop it is simple delta p by l equals to g 1 minus epsilon times rho p minus rho this is the equation that we will use so what is g g is simple 9.81 now what is this epsilon epsilon is the porosity porosity they have given as uh, the void fraction void fraction and porosity are the same thing it is 0 0.45 so 1 minus 0 0.45 1 minus 0 0.45 and what is the density of the particle density of the particle is given as the density of the particle is 1500 so 1 500 and what is the 
density of the fluid density of the fluid is 1 the bed is fluidized using air the density of air is given as 1 so simple calculation so what will this be 9.81 into 1 minus 0 0.45 is 0 0.55 into 1499 so if we solve this the answer will be 8087.85 pascals per meter so this is the answer of this question so the second problem says a bed of spherical glass beads is to be fluidized by using a liquid of density 1000 kg per meter cube and the viscosity is given as 0.1 pascal second so they are saying that assume that the Reynolds number based on the particle diameter is small compared to 1 and the g is given as 10 meter per second square then the minimum velocity in meters per second required to fluidize the bed is. So they have given that the Reynolds number based on the particle diameter is small compared to 1. So what do what have we studied before that in the argon equation in this equation when the Reynolds number is smaller than 1 we can use this part we can use this part when the Reynolds number is smaller than 1 so let me write it over here because they have given that the Reynolds number based on particle diameter is small compared to 1 hence I can write delta P by L equal to the uh, cosine Kármán part that is 150 times V mu times 1 minus epsilon whole square divided by divided by phi s dp phi s dp whole square times epsilon cube so this i can write now also they have given find the minimum velocity required to fluidize the bed so what i know to fluidize during fluidization delta p by l equals to g times 1 minus epsilon times rho p minus rho so if i equate both of these i can easily solve to calculate this v so that is what we will do exactly so 150 uh, what i can do is i can strike off this 1 minus epsilon so what i will have is 150 mu times 1 minus epsilon so uh, this v let me write it over here divided by this phi s dp this term times epsilon cube this i will have this is equal to g rho p minus rho so if i take this entire term if i take this entire term on the denominator i can easily calculate v so so here this term we will try to solve this one by one so let i let me write this for v so v equals to v equals to so what is g g is 9.81 g is 9.81 times rho p minus rho what is the particle uh, density so some information I forgot to written over here the density of the particle the density of the particle will be let me write it over here density of the particle will be 3000 3000 kg per meter cube and the diameter of the particles is 1 millimeter the diameter is 1 millimeter density is 3000 and the bed porosity the bed porosity is given as 0.5 these three information I forgot to write so I have written it over here so now we will solve it so what is the value of this rho p 3000 and what is the value of rho value of rho is the liquid density it is given as 1000 so 3000 minus 1000 now divided by this entire term so 150 into mu 150 into what is mu mu is given as 0.1 pascal second so 1.1 into 0.1 into so what is 1 minus epsilon epsilon is given as this porosity is given as 0 0.5 so 1 minus 0 0.5 will be 0 0.5 over here so multiplied by this entire term in the denominator so phi s is the sphericity because they have given that spherical glass bead so it will be 1 phi will be 1 so on top i have dp square into epsilon cube so what is epsilon cube simply 0 0.5 whole cube and what is dp square dp is i think it is given as one millimeter so one millimeter is one by thousand meter so 10 to the power minus three whole square so this we have to solve so if you do this what you will find is this entire term this term comes out to be 327 so 327 into 10 to the power minus six so i can write this as 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus four meters per second this is the minimum velocity this is the minimum fluid velocity at which the bed will become fluidized if the particle reynolds number is 
small compared to 1 so the answer that we got is 3.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters per second so with this we conclude this video what we have explained over here is we have seen what argon equation is the argon equation is made up of two parts one is the cosenic arman part another one is the bark plumber part we have also shown that during fluidization the pressure drop can be calculated using this equation and also also we have seen that this uh, bark plumber part is the kinetic loss and the cosenic arman part gives the viscous loss we have solved two problems and that is all for this video thank you